Hi guys, Sohel here with another video, this time how to use AttentiSign uh, for your e-signatures. As you may already know, Toronto Real Estate Board has now given all the members free access to AttentiSign. Um, I think it's uh, an easy way to do your e-signatures. Uh, let me just show you how to work with it. So taking my video off. Um, Okay, first thing you need to log in to your Trev account, as I already did here. Uh, as you can see in the right corner, you can find the attend sign. Clicking on it, it's gonna redirect you to this page. Okay, so to start signing, you need to click on this pen here or here both of them are the same thing and click on add you can name your uh, signature anything uh, i always use my uh, client name plus the property address but you can name it whatever you want in this case it's john smith and the property address is one two three four Make sure to have this box check off to uh, create a new uh, signature signing. Okay, so for step one, you can see you have the name as we already uh, typed it in. Uh, participant order, if you put sign in line, it's gonna be, uh, I mean, document will receive in the order of your names. I always suggest use this as your default simul sign, which everybody is gonna get a copy of the document at the same time. Second, you're gonna add your participant. In this case, I'm gonna add like myself and my client. So just adding, uh, as you can see, you have a lot of information you can en enter. But um, the things, the minimum thing that you need to add is the name and the email address. And with that, you're good to go. John Smith and email will be just something. Make sure to always save it to contact because you always want to come back and maybe have your client sign different things. It's good to have it in your contact list. So add, you can see that John Smith is here in your list. You can add yourself, which I already put my information in, just adding. Now you can see that there are two participants signing, my client and myself. Step three, you're adding your document. So, um, at this point, I've already uh, done my docu my um, forms and it's already in. Uh, so let's just add it. It is here. Let me just get into it. Okay, so I have two forms that I want to add and work on. okay so you can change the way you want it if you have more than like two documents you can change the order so in this case it doesn't matter we're gonna go next step which is the design so as you can see the documents that i upload it's going to show up here all in the same page so everything is here. At your right corner, you can choose between the signers. So in this case, it's just my client and myself. How it works is, as you know, uh, this form, Form 100, and you wanna have your buyer uh, initial here. So first, you need to choose who's gonna sign. It's my buyer. Uh, you're gonna click on drag and drop. You can see the list of all the things you can add. 
So for initial, you just click on initial, drag it, and you can drop it wherever you want at any spot. You can just put it here. Going forward, you scroll down. Again, you have another initial. You just drag it and drop it here. Another one here. Another one here. So here you want to add a signature. Signature, again, as you can see, initial here, sign here. So for sign, you're doing the same thing. Just drag and drop it here. Put it at the spot. And you need a date. To get a date, you can even bring it out from here. Or the easiest way is just to right click on your sign and add date stamp. So as soon as your client uh, entered the sign, this will uh, come up by itself. So at this point, you may want to add yourself. So to do that, you just change the signer. Again, you drag and drop the sign. And you will continue to do everything you want to do. Uh, I mean, some useful things that it may happen here is if you want to change something uh, or you want to cross out something, let's say you don't want to use this clause and you want to cross it out, uh, you're going to use this markup. Let me just go back to my clients. In markup, you have this line, draw line. You can just click on it and cross out this clause. I'm going to click on it, cross out this clause, and that's it. So if you want to change something, a wording, a date here, then you can use this draw text and come here, write whatever you want. Just going to click on it, test. So you can add whatever. Let's say it's a condition in your um, offer and you want to change the date, you want to change the condition, whatever you want to do, just cross it out, write your own thing with this, and then your client will initial. Correct? So uh, you're going to continue with this. You're going to add as much as um, initials and signature that you want. And next, will take you here. So if you want to just send it to your client right away, click on send invitations and uh, both of you guys, yourself and your client will receive a copy of the document and they can sign it or you can just come here, customize invitation, email subject and text if you want to change it. So you're sending it to your client. You can put like uh, offer for uh, what was it? The address one, two, three, four, any street. And please give me a call as soon as you receive this email. So save and send invitation. That's it. Perfect, you're gonna get back here. Um, so I'm gonna upload this right now. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, anything I can help, I can add it to this video or create another video. Um, if you uh, like this videos, I uh, I mean, I really appreciate if you can like it or subscribe in the page too. Uh, thank you, that's it, bye.